everyone welcome for this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to put in a foundation wall and a and its respective footing using Autodesk Revit 2015 so let's start so first thing I like to do I like to go to my my project browser and I like to go where it says elevations and let's click on east let's make level one let's let's change level one and call it foundation plan would you like to rename corresponding views yes uh, and then let's make this negative eight feet numbers uh, lock maybe yeah there you go negative eight feet boom so our elevations went down negative eight feet so our level level two let's change that and let's call that first floor framing plan uh, hit yes and for this one let's make it zero feet for now okay so we have our elevations all set so now let's go to again our project browser and we're gonna click on first floor framing plan so click on that it's gonna take you to the plan view first floor uh, framing plan view and let's put in our foundation wall so on structure go to wall click on that save the project I guess uh, right so now click on where it says generic wall basic wall generic eight inch and here we have our walls some that already set in into Revit so let's see which one we have exterior eight inch exterior ten inch we have foundation twelve inch concrete so let's click on that but I don't want a 12 inch concrete wall so let's edit type click on edit type and let's duplicate we're gonna make a foundation wall that is 10 inches instead of 12 inches so duplicate let's change the name uh, 10 inch concrete hit OK now we change the name but we also have to change the thickness so where it says structure click on the edit we have structure con concrete cast in place gray let's make that 10 inches hit ok hit ok alright and now we go place our foundation wall so let's do that so Let's make our foundation wall 30 feet by 20. And then Revis is intelligent enough that it will snap where it's supposed to snap. Hit a skip a few times. So here we have our foundation wall. Alright, and we could see it in our 3d view and here is our foundation wall now click on this wall if you see on the properties tab we have our base constraint and we have our top constraint so is a, this is our reference so our base constraint is taking the reference of the first floor framing plan I don't want that I want to change that and make the base constraint foundation plan and then the base offset I want that to be zero feet for the top constraint right now we have it at first floor framing so that's okay and our top offset is zero so that's what I want hit apply so it, it moved up the base constraint uh, and it's what I want so let's do the same thing for these other walls so I'm going to hold down the control key I click on this wall I'm going to click on this wall and I'm going to click on this wall too and then 
For my base constraint, let's do the same. We want this to be our foundation plan. And we want our we want our base offset to be zero. Hit apply. And there you go. Our base constraint is our at our foundation plan and our top constraint it's our it's located in our first floor framing plan, which is what I want. And if you wanna make make this look realistic, you click on this right here and click on the realistic and there you go we have our foundation wall 10 inch foundation wall so now let's give it the footing so for the footing we go to structure we go where it says wall we click on it and then we have our bearing footing we have uh, 3 by 12 I don't want that I want a 2 by 12, 2 feet or 24 inches by 12 inches. So let's duplicate again. Just change it to 24. Take that 2 out. Hit OK. And again, we also have to adjust the dimensions here. So let's make this 2 feet. Hit OK. And, you, and then it's pretty, pretty simple. Just click on the walls. And it's going to make your foundation footings. And that's pretty much it. So now, if you want to look, let's go to our foundation plan. We have our footings. We have our foundation wall. Let's just make sure that we did it correctly. So, I annotate. At the annotate key, click on it. Click on the align. Let's take some measurements. This should be two feet. And then this, let's hit wall center line. Let's make that two wall faces. That's 10 inches. That's what we wanted. And our first floor frame plan is going to show us only the foundation wall. You can always adjust this in the view range, and I'll show you in another video how to mess around with the view range. But that's pretty much it. I wanted to show, I wanted to show you guys how to put in a foundation wall, how to put in footings for the foundation wall, and how to have the correct elevations for the foundation wall. All right. I hope you guys learn something and if you have any questions please uh, leave a leave your questions in the, in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it back thank you and have a nice day